everyone, welcome back to Wix Fix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can use a repeater. However, maybe you want to switch up the design every other repeater item, and you can create a flip-flopping repeater design, something like this. This would be perfect for your team, for your services, or just about anything where you want to have maybe alternating designs as the user scrolls down the page. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and add a blank page here to our website. And then I'm gonna come over here, add a blank repeater to our page, something that looks like this, perfect. In each of these items, I'm gonna come in here and remove the background color. And then one of the repeater items selected, I'm gonna go ahead and expand it down quite a bit to give us some room to play with. So the first thing I want to do is go ahead and add an image. We'll add something that looks like this. Of course, we'll bring down the size quite a bit because we don't need it that big. And we'll just place it inside of our repeater item. Perfect. Now let's add a text element. We'll name this one full name. And then we will stick this into our repeater next to the image. Next, let's add another text element. This one can be for job title. And we'll stick this right underneath the name, just like that. And last but not least, we'll go ahead and add just a paragraph right underneath the job title. Perfect. So now what I want to do is I want to connect this to our data set. So we're gonna come over to add, go to content manager and add a data set to our page, just like that. If we click on settings, we want to connect this to our team page right here, just like that. And we want to create a sort from our order field, set low to high, just like that, perfect. So now what I want to do is select this image here in the repeater, and we're gonna connect this to our data. So we want to connect this to our team data set right here, and we want the image source to be the photo. For the name, Let's go ahead and connect this to the name field in the database. Job title, we'll connect to job title. And last but not least, this little paragraph will connect to the short description. Just like that. So now what I want to do is go ahead and grab each one of these elements and we're gonna group them together. Then we're going to copy it and we're going to paste it just like this. And then we're gonna ungroup this for now. And what I want to do is grab these elements right here and we'll bring them over here to the left of the image. Something like that. We'll bring this image right about here and then we'll grab all four elements of this one and group these but we'll send this one over here to the right. Just like that. And now we can begin coding. And just like all of our Velo stuff that we do here on this channel, there will be a link in the description if you would like to just copy and paste the code over to your website. But of course, I do recommend you watch this tutorial so you learn exactly how to do it, how to set it up, and what to change for your code to make sure it works on your site. But let's go ahead and begin. What I want to do first is pull up the coding panel and I want to name these groups. So maybe this one's version one. So I want this one to be called V1. We'll grab this group right here and we'll call this one V2. And now with those named properly, we can already begin coding. So the first thing I want to do is call the data set. So this one is called data set one. So we're gonna call it data set one. We're gonna say on ready. We want something to happen. So we're gonna do equal greater than curly brackets. Inside here, we now need to call the repeater. So we're gonna say dollar sign W and we need to find the repeater right here. 
And then what we want to do now is say on item ready. We're gonna do double brackets. We're gonna say dollar sign item, comma, item data. Just like that. And then we want to do another equal, greater than, and curly brackets. Now what we need to do is create a little variable. So we're gonna say let even equal item data dot the field key for the order. So what we're gonna do is go to content manager, collections, and we're gonna open up the team. And what we're basically gonna be doing is using the order field right here. As you can see, each one of these are numbered one to six. We're gonna let this decide which group or which design to show in the repeater. So what we want to do is go over to order, edit, and we want the field key right here. And just so you know, if you do not have this field right here, because some databases don't come with it by default, or maybe you created your own custom database, you can easily just add a field right here. Make sure it is a number field type. And you can easily just go through and number each one of your items. It's pretty easy, but we're not going to be using that one because we already have order. So now that we have gone through here, we copied this field key, we can close out. And right where we left off, we'll type in or we'll paste in order, which is the field key that we're pulling from. Perfect. Then underneath that, we're gonna say if, and we're gonna say even, which is this variable we just created, is divisible by two and is equal to zero, then we want something to happen. So what we're gonna do is if it's divisible by two, we want V2 to show. So I wanna say dollar sign item, and we're gonna call V2. We want this to show. And I'm just gonna copy this real quick. I'm gonna paste it down below. And we also want it to expand. Now underneath that, we also wanna do dollar sign item slash V1. And we want to hide this one. And we're gonna copy and paste it and we want this one to also be collapsed. Perfect. Now underneath the if statement, we need an else with some curly brackets. And let's just copy this text right here or this code right here. And we'll paste it just like that. And instead of V2 showing, and collapse and expanding, we're gonna want V1. And then instead of V1 hiding, we want V2 to hide and collapse. Perfect. So now if we go ahead and press preview, here we'll have a nice alternating designed repeater right in Wix. And just so you know, for mobile, I'd probably recommend designing them to look exactly the same because on mobile, having alternating designs might look a little weird. So I recommend just for both groups, just design them the exact same way. That way it looks the same, no matter if it's V1 or V2 showing on mobile. But that's basically gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you all did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and consider subscribing for more Wix and Editor X and Velo content coming real soon. Thank you all again, and I'll see you all in the next one.